Hello guys and welcome back to the second in my Christmas gift guide series for 2023. Today I'm going to be talking all about luxury gifts for her. If you haven't already seen my previous gift guide, it's gifts under £50. So today is all about super luxury, gorgeous gifts, all the way up from £50 to over £1,000. Depending on your budget, I feel like there's something for everyone in this video. Um, if you haven't seen my gift guides before, if you're new to my gift guide series, I've been doing these for 14 years here on YouTube. Wow, I don't know where the time's gone. But every year I upload extensive gift guides, so if you're looking to buy Christmas gifts for your loved ones, then I hope they help. There are lots more videos coming up as well, including kids, for men, we've got stocking fillers, we've got an independent brand gift guide that I'm really excited about. So if you are doing your Christmas shopping, then make sure you're subscribed. And another thing I wanted to mention before we get started is the fact that I'm doing some incredible giveaways over on my Instagram. So most of the gifts that you see in this video today, I'm gonna to be giving away over on my Instagram. So make sure you're following me on there if you want to be in the chance of winning them, because there are some beautiful things coming up. So first of all, I wanted to talk a little bit about knitwear. I feel like knitwear, especially cashmere, makes an exceptionally gorgeous gift this time of year. And I've actually partnered up with Lily Silk again, who I worked with for the Christmas gift guides last year. Last year I was talking mostly about silk products. I still own and absolutely love all of my Lily Silk products I spoke about in last year's video, I wear them all the time. They just wear really well, they wash really well. I'm a big fan of natural silk. They're just super luxurious and obviously really comfortable and gorgeous to wear as well. Anyway, I'm gonna show you my favorite pieces at the moment from Lily Silk, but I also wanted to mention they do have a Black Friday sale going on, as most people do right now, because we are heading into Black Friday week as this video is going live. They do have Black Friday sale on, but I also have a discount code, which I'll put on screen now, and down below where you can get an additional discount. Um, there's never a better time to shop for Christmas presents than the Black Friday week, right? Um, so yeah, there is the discount and I also will link everything directly so you can get direct links to everything I'm talking about just so it's easy down below. First thing I wanna talk about is this jumper, which I'm gonna have to try it on to show you because holding jumpers up is the hardest thing ever to demonstrate. Basically, this is a really unique design. I feel like it's such a versatile piece and it would make an amazing gift. It's actually a two-in-one hoodie. So it has a removable hood. I love the color. It's a gorgeous kind of caramel, oatmeal-y kind of color. It's so soft, 100% cashmere, and it is mid-weight, which I love because sometimes with knitwear, you want it to be kind of look chunky, but you don't want the bulk added to your frame from chunky knitwear. This is just absolutely perfect, mid-weight. I love the kind of... Um, texture of the knit and I love that the hood is a slightly different texture and removable so you can wear it with the matching bottoms if you want to go all out it's like the ultimate loungewear would be amazing for traveling or you can wear it with jeans with the hood you can take the hood off if you want a little bit more of a kind of smarter look and another one is this one now this is is black so it's hard to show you again I'm going to put it on it's kind of like a half turtleneck vibe like it's not too high so it's still really comfortable it's that really gorgeous mid-weight knit again so it's warm and cozy but it's not super chunky it has wider sleeves so it feels really kind of stylish luxurious to wear i just i don't know this is my personal jumper i've worn it loads i've washed it loads it washes really well this is actually a wool cashmere mix as well so the price is really good but it's also super wearable really washable and i have to say it's 30 percent cashmere which is a lot more than most cashmere mix knitwear that you find. Um, I find when it's like five or 10%, you might as well just buy a wool jumper because it doesn't really make that much difference. This actually feels like cashmere, but you can wear it like wool, if that makes sense. It's cropped as well, so it doesn't add too much bulk around the middle. You can kind of dress it up, dress it down. I just absolutely love it. And I really like the detail on the back. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, um, but it has like a seam, like a stitch seam on the back. Just really nice attention to detail. And lastly, I wanted to mention the silk bed sheets because you cannot get more luxe than silk bed sheets. Like, just so extra. Silk pillowcases are really, really popular, not only because they are really good for your skin, actually anti-aging to help decrease kind of creasing. I think generally really good for your skin because they're a natural, breathable material, but also excellent for your hair because they are that smooth kind of slippery surface. They don't have so much friction. So if you're prone to frizz, if you have dry hair, especially like me, it can help avoid that by basically just having less friction and your hair looks so much better when you wake up in the morning. They come in loads of colors, beautifully packaged, and I really would 
recommend if you're struggling for like what to buy someone that has everything silk bed sheets ultimate luxury gift next up i wanted to talk about my own brand which full disclosure i own raven james but i want to show you a few jewelry pieces from my newest collection for raven james which i'm so proud of and i love so much um my top gift this christmas would actually be these earrings that i'm wearing right now which are the lyra statement earrings i just think they're the perfect festive gorgeous statement look they're not too heavy because they're not massive and chunky but they still make a statement like they're big enough to be a kind of statement earring but they're not huge and like weighty and heavy but they're just so i just think they're so chic and sophisticated the gorgeous dark blue stones and um everything is kind of designed with vintage touches in mind so all of the settings are rhodium plated so they look really kind of vintagey um so gorgeous these are my favorites we're also about to go into our black friday sale which is 20 percent off the whole site which we've never done before that starts tonight at midnight so if there's anything you have your eyes on wait till tomorrow or wait till tonight at midnight if you're up that late um there's 20 percent off the whole site which is a huge deal for us because we're only two years old um and yeah it's the first and the only time of year that we ever do a sale like this and it's actually the first time that we've done it we did black friday last year but it wasn't as big a discount it wasn't across the whole site um so that's very exciting my other picks would be the lyra charms which are matching to these but if you want something a little bit less statement these are actually paired here with our elara reversible huggies um so they're blue on one side and white on the other so really versatile and just make a really nice gift if i do say so myself also our packaging is really nice i feel so weird talking about my own brand anyway my um and my third recommendation would be our bloom ring which is actually the one that i'm wearing now i get so many comments on this whenever i wear it on instagram um all the comments about the bloom ring but i love it and i feel like um the reversible huggies as well so like without the charms i feel like a such a safe gift for somebody it's like very very wearable very neutral but kind of a bit different with the reversibility we do plain ones that are just gold and silver we do different colored stones we've got a really gorgeous turquoise and moonstone option i just feel like it's like a little bit different but very safe talking of safe gifts that are like surefire great presents i want to talk about a fragrance collection because fragrance can sometimes be tricky to gift based on taste or um you just don't like you know you don't know maybe what people like or what people wear if you want to buy them a new fragrance i I wanted to talk about the Tory Burch fragrances in this video because I haven't seen a brand nail Christmas packaging for an entire collection this well in a very long time. This collection is just unbelievably beautiful. If you don't know Tory Burch fragrances, she's fairly recently launched them actually. In the UK, the Essence of Dreams collection only launched this year and she spoke about it on my Instagram. There's five fragrances in total and what makes them so perfect for gifts is that they are all so likable honestly i have i don't think i've ever smelled another selection of fragrances as big as five different fragrances where i'm like i don't know which one i like the best it took me a long time to decide which one was my favorite i like them all i would wear them all they're all just absolutely divine and therefore would make perfect gifts because i feel like they are all very very likable fragrances there's not they're not kind of marmite fragrances if that makes sense anyway talking about the packaging i actually put this on my instagram so if you follow me there you might have seen this but this is just the most stunning packaging i've ever seen for, it's just beautiful in every way so this is like a miniature bottle of each of the fragrances in one set the price point is also really good i'll put all of the info down below but for the quality of the gift packaging and just i'm just not I, i'm obsessed with it it's so nice they sell them exclusively in space nk in the uk i'll pop links to where you can get them from they also do this set this would be my personal pick electric sky is actually my favorite fragrance from the whole collection it took me a while to decide but i did finally decide on this the bottles are just so stunning and what i like as well is that they haven't put kind of filler products you know sometimes if you get like a body lotion i'm like i'm never gonna use that they've actually done a full-size bottle the spray travel bottle and then the tiny bottle that's like a dropper for just under 100 pounds they've also done this set if you like rose i just can't with this packaging it's just so gorgeous so nice and refillable it has the little metal um funnel to decant into the travel atomizers and lastly i want to show you this one which is kind of like a cigarette box style opening how gorgeous all of it is just absolutely divine the embossing on the packaging i'll put all of the prices below rather than just rolling through them but um so gorgeous and i actually got to meet tori 
uh, a couple of weeks ago and she was so nice. Next up, keeping on the theme of fragrances, home fragrances, I wanted to include this diffuser. Um, you guys might have seen this brand before, Dr. Vran, I don't even know how to say it, Dr. Vranges, Dr. Vrange. Um, it's an Italian brand. These guys do diffusers like nobody else. And I am, I have a very love-hate relationship with diffusers, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like some of them, the scent disappears in like five minutes, the liquid goes in like a week, and you're like, I feel ripped off. These last for such a long time, and I'm not gonna lie, I hadn't smelt this fragrance before. I'd had some products from this brand, but they had been a different fragrance. I think it was Oud Nobile. This is Rosso Nobile. I can't, I can't remember if it was Oud Nobile. This is definitely Rosso Nobile. It's the most divine fragrance. I first smelt it in Liberty, a couple of weeks ago, I was walking on, like, on the other side of the store to the home fragrance section. I was like, what does that smell? And I literally, I was like a, a, a bloodhound and I sniffed out where this, this amazing fragrance was coming from and it was a diffuser like this. I was like, I have to have that in my life. It smells so good. The next gift is actually something that I got given for my birthday this year and I've used it so much. I absolutely love it. It's this glasses case from a brand called Any Dye. Now, these start at around 59 pounds. They're beautifully made leather glasses kind of, I wouldn't even call it a case, it's like a clip, but they're so handy because you can attach them to the inside of your bag or wherever, you don't have to carry around a bulky glasses case. They fit pretty much any pair of sunglasses you've got going, or, or actual glasses if you wear glasses. These are my YSL sunglasses. So handy and such a nice gift for a kind of, somebody who has everything, I feel like it's quite a niche gift, but also really actually quite useful and something that I personally never knew I wanted um, and hadn't seen them before until my friends bought me this for my birthday and I've used it so much because I am the queen of scratching her sunglasses because I always have tiny handbags. I never want to take a glasses case with me. This is like the perfect solution, so good. Next up is a scarf actually from Arquette and Arquette's not a luxury brand, but obviously this video is gifts over 50 pounds and I feel like scarves are one of those things. Some people would spend loads of money on scarves, some people wouldn't. I feel like this is the perfect scarf for gifting. I feel like it looks really expensive. It is so warm and cozy and it's got the blanket stitch edging, so it's got the vibes of the super popular um, totem coat that everyone was wearing last year, the black one with the white stitching, and I feel like it's just a nice way to kind of get that vibe but not have a whole coat in it or spend however much, 800 pounds on that coat. I absolutely love this, I think it's so nice. Really cozy but still kind of chic and just a really nice option. I feel like it's quite neutral as well. Um, this is my personal one, I absolutely love it. Next up, whilst we're chatting about clothing, I wanted to talk about this jacket, which you guys will probably have seen this jacket on Instagram because it has had a moment over the past kind of three or four months. This is the Jane and Tash um, oversized cropped leather jacket in silver, okay? The silver is definitely Marmite. This is my personal jacket. Um, I'm actually gonna be giving away one over on my Instagram as well. They do it in loads of different colors. I also have it in denim. It's been super, super popular this year. You'll see it on like loads and loads of people on Instagram. They do it in black, they do it in um, brown, they do it in like a tan camel color. They do obviously do the denim one. They do some amazing croc effect ones as well now that they've just launched that are like kind of almost um, patent style. So fun, I feel like it's such a good gift. If you're shopping for a leather jacket, I feel like this style that's like slightly more oversized and cropped and has the kind of exaggerated lapels is a really, really popular style right now instead of the kind of classic biker jacket. The other thing I wanted to talk about with these pajamas, which actually did not arrive in time, so I'm just gonna put a picture here and you're gonna have to imagine me wearing them, from Bowdoin. I am fussy with pajamas, but these are so Gorgeous. I absolutely love the, the like contrasting candy stripe. Um, Bowdoin always do amazing sales as well, and because it's Black Friday week, I'm guessing these will be on sale right now. Um, so nice. Absolutely love them. And I also wanted to show you this, which is a watch. My friend Libby showed me this watch. I was like, oh, if I didn't already have a really nice watch, this would be my watch of choice. I feel like it's, it takes me, it's kind of got fun summer vibes, 
but the styling very much looks like a Rolex. It's not a Rolex, it's from Timex, and it's a collaboration between Timex and the jeweler Jackie H. I think you say her name, Jackie H. Um, she does really gorgeous kind of boho style jewelry, but this is the watch. I just absolutely love it. I think it's so fun. They do it in a few different colors. It's around the 300 pound mark, so a really nice kind of luxury gift point that isn't a kind of, you know, high-end watch, but it's still really nice. So next up, we are moving in to my favorite section, which is the ultimate luxury gift. So the first thing is something I actually bought as a Christmas present for myself, and I bought another one to give away, 100% um, just from me to you guys, and it is from Chanel. I very, very, very rarely buy anything from Chanel anymore that isn't vintage because I think the pricing is outrageous, it's too expensive, the quality is not good enough. Vintage Chanel is incredible and even kind of 10 year old Chanel incredible but I feel like the quality in the last few years, especially in terms of the bags, isn't what it used to be so I would just rather buy vintage and it's cheaper as well. However, <clears throat> I saw this and I just was absolutely blown away by it. The design is stunning, the quality is beautiful and I just think it's an absolutely gorgeous statement gift. It is expensive, obviously it's from Chanel, however I just think you couldn't go wrong with this. It's a brooch, I'm gonna unbox it on camera to show you because I don't want to ruin the packaging and then have to unbox it again for the cutaway, but I just think you couldn't get nicer than this. If you have the budget I feel like this would be one of my top recommendations this year. So moving on to the final two gifts, both of them are handbags. I've got one that is um, a kind of more affordable luxury level and one designer handbag to show you this year. As per usual, I'm going to be giving them both away as well on my Instagram. These would be my personal picks of handbags this year if you're looking for something to gift. The first one is from Pol Pauline? Polen? I think it's Polen. French brand. You guys have probably heard of this. I feel like it's probably the best mid-range luxury handbag brand out there. The quality, I feel like, is on par with a lot of really high-end luxury brands, but the price point is much, much lower. So their bags, I think they start at around 250 pounds and go up to around 400 pounds. This one is actually 360. Um, and I have to say, I just think this is so chic. I love the gold detail. Um, I love the kind of, that you can adjust the strap, you can wear it cross body, you can make it shorter and this gets longer and it's kind of a, a vibe. Just absolutely gorgeous. I've spoken about this brand a few times before because I've got a few bags from them, but the quality is genuinely very similar to Chloe bags, um, but the price point is nowhere near. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous gift. And lastly, my designer handbag pick. Every year I pick a handbag to kind of um, show as like my kind of top recommendation for gifting that year. This year it's actually from Gucci. Last year I had the Fendi mini baguette, which I, I bought for myself and I have to say I love it and wear it so so much this year i really struggled to find or to choose something that i thought was a good recommendation until i found this bag and i have to say now that i've got it and i've seen it i absolutely love this i think it's such a classic kind of recommendation a classic piece to have in your collection and one of the perfect kind of gifting pieces really so this is the horse bit camera bag and i feel like it's such a classic iconic vibe from Gucci but equally I feel like the quality is really good the price point isn't too outrageous considering how expensive handbags are now like I just I, I'm not there for it when it comes to like thousands and thousands of pounds like I said with Chanel and, and Hermes or whatever I just feel like they get it's getting ridiculous I really I genuinely think that um, but the, so the price point of this is 1,300. This is my pick this year, and like I said, I'm gonna be giving it away begrudgingly, because I feel like this is such a gorgeous bag, and it's actually such a staple. Surprisingly roomy, very wearable, you can do it cross body, it's just gorgeous, the quality is divine, um, and Gucci for me is a bit of a hit and miss brand, but actually I really, really like this particular design a lot. I also love the canvas version, I nearly bought the brown and canvas version, um, but I, decided against it in the end but nearly it was very close anyway so that is it for my luxury gift guide i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it's given you some inspiration if you're doing some christmas shopping or maybe even just looking for gifts that you like things that you like or just beautiful things um i hope you guys have enjoyed it don't forget i'll pop all of the links to everything along with any discount codes that i've got and all the sale links etc um because black friday is is going on is coming but it's it's here basically um but yeah i hope you guys have a fantastic day and i'll see you very soon